Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So how to choose the right keywords for Google shopping ads in 2021 and onwards. Now, a lot of people actually have questions about Google ads or just Google shopping ads in general. They try to figure out how to make them work, especially if they're already running the Google shopping campaign, but not getting the desired results. And one of the most common issues I always see with these Google ad accounts is that they actually just don't have the right keywords chosen for their products. And as a result, Google is unable to identify what the product is and it's unable to even showcase it to the right audience. Now, one thing you want to note about Google ads is that the keywords to Google is like the interest that you use for Facebook ads targeting. Now, we all know with Facebook ads, if you don't choose an interest, it is going to be very difficult for the algorithm to find the right people for you and then to get you the sale. So due to this, we always choose an appropriate interest when it comes to Facebook ads. So if we do that for Facebook, why would you not spend a little bit of extra time to find the right keywords for Google? Because in essence, the keywords that you supply to your product pages are the interests that you supply to Google's algorithm. So in this video, I'm going to be going over exactly how to find the right interest. In this case, the right keywords for your Google ads campaigns to make sure they're always running properly and always optimized at the maximum level. But let's just get right into it. The first thing you'll have to do in order to optimize your Google shopping campaigns and find those right keywords, of course, is to destroy that like button for the YouTube gods. It's going to turn blue once you click on it. Okay, hopefully I've done that, but I'm going to be going over a easy four step process. Step number one in this process, of course, to find the main keyword for the product. Now for this video and this example, I'm going to be going over this product right here. So this is the fetal Doppler specifically made for women who are pregnant. As you can see, a very simple product, but very useful. All it does is measure the baby's heart rate inside the stomach. But the main thing that you want to do again, if we go back is to find the main keyword for the product. Now, this video is not going to be about how to find the products. I've made videos on that, which you can check out on my channel. But Assuming you have already found the product which you want to apply this strategy to, the next step is to, of course, go on the product page and try to identify what the main keyword is. Normally, I like to start off by looking at the title itself, especially more towards the beginning because Aliexpress suppliers also do search engine optimization. They put the main keywords more towards the front and the irrelevant or extra ones towards the end. So in this case, the keywords at the front, we can tell right away that this product is possibly a fetal Doppler. You don't really even have to know what this product is. Just by looking at the keywords here, you could tell what this product is called. So it's a fetal Doppler. You could even say it's a fetal detector, baby heartbeat meter, baby heartbeat monitor, etc. But out of all of these, identify those two to three main keywords which describe this product. In this case, it is going to be the fetal Doppler. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to copy that keyword. So we're going to copy it and go back to step number two, and that is going on to the keyword planner tool. Now with the keyword planner tool, there are a few things you can do. The first thing is you can just search up the keyword and then go along with the list of keywords that pop up at the bottom. Number two, what you can do otherwise is to search up the main keyword. And if nothing pops up, you want to mix and match a wide variety of different keywords until something pops up. And I'm going to go over both of them right now, but let's go on to our keyword planner tool. From this section, we want to go ahead and click on the first box and we want to paste in what we just copied. So fetal Doppler, make sure English is chosen as language, United States as country, and go ahead and click get results. From here, we're going to be doing several other things. First things, of course, is to look at this overall chart. But even before looking at the chart, here's what you want to do. There are a few metrics you want to make sure your keyword planner tool is set at. And these are certain filters, which I always use. Filter number one is the search volume filter. For this filter, I like to set it at greater than or equal to 500 or just greater than 999. Now, there are two numbers here. I'll be explaining why very shortly. But option number one is, of course, greater than or equal to 500. So what you would do is you would click right there and I already have it chosen, but it would be the following. So average monthly searches greater than or equal to 500. In this case, I just did 555, but 500 works perfectly. The other option was, of course, 999. 
Now, there's only a few reasons why you would go with 999. The first reason is that there's already a bunch of keywords available, which just popped up. As you can see for this product right here, there are a bunch of keywords that popped up. So what that means is that we don't really need to lower this metric to 500 because that means the lower the metric, the lower the search volume for the keywords that pop up. And we only need to do that when we don't have enough keywords popping up at the bottom. Clearly, that is not the case here. So 999 is enough. But along with that, the second metric you want to set up is exclude adult ideas because we don't want to be selling something against Google's policies. We always want to make sure this filter is chosen. But once you have set up these filters, the next steps would be to, of course, make sure that the search volume and everything does match according to our criteria. Again, I'm not going to go over that in detail here because I already made tons of videos on that on my channel. But one of the main criteria is 25,000 total monthly searches or more. Of course, this is met here because Total here is a 118,000. That's a lot more than what we normally would want. So that's good. In addition, three to four minimum keywords should pop up. In this case, a bunch of different keywords pop up. If you go all the way to the bottom, we can see exactly how many. So there's a total of 26 keywords. Of course, we really can't use all of them and I'll be going over how to choose them very shortly, but this is exactly what you want to be seeing when you search up the keyword for any given product. Now, let's say for example, you had searched up this keyword fetal Doppler, but instead of having this many keywords pop up, nothing had popped up. What would you do in that case? In that case, here's where we go back to the Google doc to see exactly what I'd said. And that is mix and match the keyword. So in this page, I had to mention a few different keywords which you could have used to describe this product the first one would have been fetal doppler second one would have been baby heartbeat monitor baby heartbeat meter etc if fetal doppler had yielded less than three to four keywords that is exactly what you would do you would simply get rid of the keyword fetal doppler and instead you would replace it with baby heartbeat monitor baby heartbeat meter etc and try out different keywords to see if anything else is coming up because that is one great way to not miss a winning product a lot of the times we simply search up the wrong keyword which is not really relevant to that product and because of that google is unable to provide the right results however just small changes can yield much much better results for that same exact product so always make sure to properly do your research before moving on to the next product but once you do that once you make sure that the keywords are popping up here's how you choose the keywords for that product and that is with relevancy now going back to the keyword section let's start off with the first keyword at the top fetal doppler exactly what we searched up but let's say we're not sure exactly what this keyword is we want to do further research into it what you would do is you would copy this keyword you would go on to one special website called isearchfrom.com. This is a website which lets you mimic random US searches as if you're in a random location within the country. And I recommend that you use this even if you are living with the US like I am. But what you do here is you paste in the keyword, make sure country USA, language English and press search. Once you press search, you're going to be taken to this page right here. This is a special page made for advertisers. We really can't be clicking on links here because if you click on a link, we'll be taken right back to this page. However, what I want you to notice is the competition for this keyword. I want you to take a look at what kind of products are popping up and if they are relevant to what you want to sell. This is simply one of the biggest things a lot of people fail to do and that is make sure that the keyword is relevant to their product just to give a quick example if you were trying to sell a dog necklace it would not be a smart idea to be ranking for the keyword cat necklace why that's simply because those two keywords are not relevant to each other a dog necklace should not be ranking under the keyword cat necklace because there is no kind of relevancy that is exactly what we want to aim for with google shopping ads and when choosing our keywords that's one simple trick if you get right, you're going to find a lot of results with Google. Simply make sure it's relevant along with making sure that there is enough search volume and everything. But clearly the keyword fetal Doppler is relevant to what we want to sell because we're trying to sell something that does the same exact functions. Now, a key note, it does not have to be the same exact fetal Doppler as the first listing or the second listing. In fact, the design could be completely different of what you want to sell as long as the overall function of that product is the same as what you want to rank for that is a good keyword that you should consider ranking for of course relevancy is just one of the main factors that you should be looking at when trying to choose a keyword the next thing of course is how many dropshippers are there 
Normally, I like to stay away from products with more than five to six drop shippers because that means the product is already pretty saturated. I may not have the best results selling that kind of product or I may not even sell any of that product. So I try to stay away from anything with too much competition. Next thing I like to do is look at the overall pricing of my competitors and see if I can get a minimum of $25 to $30 profit. If I cannot get even that much amount of profit, most of the time I just skip that product and move on to something else but those three things relevancy competition and pricing if you know, really take into consideration and really look at those things before deciding whether you should use that keyword or not will take your store from doing a few thousand dollars a month to over six figures and even up to seven figures because again keywords is like the interest for google ads if you have the right keywords then your campaigns will perform the best but simply repeat these same exact steps for every single keyword that does pop up. The more keywords you have, the better. Always start off with the first one and then go on to the second one. So in this case, baby Doppler, what I would do is I would copy it, go on over to I search from, paste it in and repeat the same process. Is it relevant? How much competition is there? Can I get 25 to $30 profit? If all of these three things match, that is when I know that I can use the second keyword as well. And all you have to do is simply scroll down this list and continue on until you get to the very bottom of the list. You want to avoid using keywords which have brand names in them like Fetal Doppler Walgreens or even something like Fetal Doppler in store because of course that's not really relevant to you personally and you don't want to rank for something that's branded or something like in store because you're just going to waste money. But that is exactly what you want to be doing. Always make sure relevancy as the number one thing for your keywords and for your products. If you found any type of value in this video, smash that like button and smash that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.